All right, let's solve this quadratic equation and let's do it potion low style. So potion low is a mathematician and I believe he discovered this method. So the first thing we want to do uh, is get rid of this two. So we'll divide everything by two to make it a little bit easier to do. So step one, you wanna make sure you have a coefficient of one in front of your x squared. So it'll be x squared plus three x plus three halves and that's equal to zero. And I purposely put the three here so that we would purposely get a fraction. All right, so the Poshen method basically says that you need two numbers that add to the opposite of whatever is here. So there's a positive three here. So we need two numbers that add to negative three. Okay, so they have to add to the opposite of whatever is there. And they have to multiply to this number here. So multiply two, three halves, okay, always, always. Now here's the trick. These numbers, the answers to this problem are always gonna be of the form, so you take this and divide it by two. Negative three halves plus u, that is one of the answers, right, to this problem. And the other answer is going to be negative three halves minus u. Okay, so these are both the answers to this equation up here, to our original problem. We just have to find u. So now we know that they multiply to 3 halves, so we put a 3 halves here. So recap. First thing you do is you get rid of this number here, the 2, by dividing. Second step is you need two numbers that add to the opposite of whatever is here, so add to negative 3, and that multiply to 3 halves. Third step, you just take this and divide it by 2, always, no matter what, and you know your answer is always going to be negative 3 over 2 plus u, negative 3 over 2 minus u. These are your actual answers, right? And you know they multiply to 3 halves. All right, now you can use the difference of squares formula, right? This is a plus b, a minus b, and that's equal to um, 3 halves. So it's a squared minus b squared. Okay, so let's do this. Scroll down here. So it'll be 3 halves squared is 9 fourths. 9 fourths minus u squared is equal to, we know that's equal to 3 halves. So 3 halves. Um, we have to subtract 9 fourths, so I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2 to make it a little bit easier to do the subtraction. That way we have 4s on the bottom, so this is 6 over 4. All right, so now you subtract 9 fourths, subtract 9 fourths. So this is going to be, come over here, this is negative u squared equals, and then 6 fourths minus 9 fourths is negative 3 fourths. Multiply by negative 1, so you get u squared equals 3 fourths. Almost there, right? To get rid of the two, all you have to do is take the square root of both sides. So you take the square root, take the square root, and we come up way up here. So you get u equals, so plus or minus, and then the square root of three is the square root of three, and the square root of four is just two. So those are our answers for u. But remember, our final answers are of the form negative three halves plus u and negative three halves minus u. So our final answers, I'll use a different color so you can see it, final answers are going to be um, negative 3 halves plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. So really cool method uh, thanks to Po Shen Lo. I'll put a link in the description to the original video um, that shows all of this and shows why it works. That's it.